Um, was the result and the performance tonight on Tuesday night was that uh, an element of frustration coming out from the players after having to kick their heels for a week or so? I no, it was strange uh, not playing for like nine ten nine ten days, especially when all, you see all the other clubs playing as well. So no, I think we had a good week of training, uh, hard training, and it was it was it, it was good to be back at Celtic Park and, and playing a game again. And, and uh, now you've seen the performance and, and the goals, and uh, we've done really well. And we we'll we we'll just want we really want to kick start for now. How did it feel playing a European tie on a you know, midweek night with no fans? Yeah, no, it was strange because even early on uh, in the qualifiers the last couple of years, like the fans are always there and it's always a sellout and the, the, the crowds always get right behind you uh, right early on in, in the ties and it, it was different but uh, as you've seen, the, the boys done really well. I think the, the full 90 minutes we were creating chances and, and scoring goals and I think it was it was good to be back and well, it was uh, that was it was a it was a good test. Guess the Hungarian champions next week and these one-off games has the manager and. Said to you, any, any different kind of psychology that has to be addressed by these games because it's not like anything you've experienced in Europe before. Yeah, no, it's different. I think just going to need to adapt it. Uh, I think a one-off game, like cup ties in, in Scotland and that as well. Like anything can happen, so we know we're, we're going to need to be at our best and, and hit the ground running right from the start. Uh, so obviously we, we know it's going to be a tough tie. But we're at home, so that gives us a, a, the advantage. But we, we know we need to make sure that we we turn up and, and put another good performance on. How frustrating was it having the game called off last weekend? Yeah, no, I think everyone was frustrated. I think just because we had uh, we had played our first two league games over we had a long pre season, but everyone felt as though it was everything was starting, and especially because we we had a we dropped points at Kilmarnock as well, so we were looking forward to a couple of days later playing another game and, and getting that out of the system. So having to wait the the extra week to play another game uh, was. It was frustrating for everyone, but you've seen uh, we've done everything right, like in training, the, the last week to prepare, prepare for the game uh, last night, and, and uh, we've we done what we're, we're set up to do. Nicholas Sturgeon has said today it's still looking likely that the 14th of September there could be limited fans allowed in, but is that an extra incentive, not just for you, but for players across Scotland to really stick to the rules and keep us going, because you all want fans back? No, I think that that's really promising. I think uh, if you ask all the players, uh, every every team, everyone wants the fans there, and everyone's it's, it's obviously adapting to like playing without fans, so it's it's obviously uh, difficult uh, just now. But as you said, uh, if if that's the date that we're looking for, then everyone will be an, another good few weeks uh, push, uh, stay, like stay together, and and then everyone will get the, the fans back, just what all the players and and, and everyone wants in football. How big an impact could it be just having maybe 10,000 how many fans that could be inside Celtic Park? Yeah, no, I think like even like the, the other night, it's, it's, it's just really quiet. You hear all the shouts for the players and, and the, the dugouts as well. So even when we were in France and we played a, a couple of pre-season games with just a couple of thousand fans, I think it, it even makes a difference. So I think home and away, just like slight atmosphere will... will, will I think it will be better, beneficial for uh, for the players just to to get that better like, better atmosphere. Suppose the fans deserve as well, don't they? Especially yeah. in a season for Celtic. Yeah, no, definitely. I think uh, that's why we just want to make sure we, we keep winning games and putting good performances on the now, and, and hopefully the fans will be looking forward to coming back, and, and obviously all the players want them want them back there as well. And if it's only a small number at the start, then uh, like that's what it will be, and, and hopefully we can just keep gradually getting everyone back. James, how do you think you'll be playing catch up already? Already two games behind uh, teams that are at the top of the table. Does that affect you guys at all? No, I think as you said last night, we've tried to not let it affect us. We got a good week in training, and and. Uh, we were obviously everyone was delighted with the league starting back. It was a good result against Hamilton, and as you said, when when you drop points, it, it would have been good to to play a couple of days later to to get out the system. But I think now uh, after last night, that the games are coming thick and fast. So. Uh, we just need to make sure everyone's ready and we've, we've got a big squad to handle it. Dundee United at the weekend, what do you expect from them? Do you, did you expect them to, to start so strongly, uh, to quite high up the table? And also, what, what are your memories? Yeah, no, we've, uh, obviously we've not played there for a couple of years, but they, they have uh, started this, this season strong, so we know uh, it's, we know it's going to be a, a difficult game and, and uh, one, that we're, one that we're going to look forward to. Just finally as well, um, obviously players to Celtic here, yeah constantly linked to transfers away, especially right now there's going to be a transfer until October. 
Tom Rogic is the latest one to be linked to Have you, have you spoken to him at all? And as well, as a whole, how does the group deal with that when, when your star players being linked with moves to England or abroad? Yeah, no, I think it's it's obviously a, a time where all the teams uh, for all the different uh, countries, it's, it's it's just a time where it's, it's everyone's obviously going to have to adapt. It's a, it's a difficult situation. Uh, obviously, the window's open to, to October this year, and I think it'll be strange for for players leaving and, and, and players like moving moving clubs. So, no, I think it's it's just another kind of obstacle that the club need to deal with, and and uh, I, I think it's it's been it's been good so far, and we're just going to need to wait and see if if we bring in players or if players leave. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, no, he's he's been great. Obviously, he's been here for. I think like six, six, like seven years he, he's been here, so he's he's had a lot of great games, a lot of good memories for uh, for Celtic, and and uh, no, he's he's whatever whatever uh, whatever happens, uh, if, if he stays or if he goes, I think he's everyone knows it's it's been he's been a joy to play with, and he's obviously been uh, yeah a, a, a great player for Celtic. James, just before you go, the fans are loving the new away kit. Can you tell us what you and the players think of it? Yeah, no, I think everyone's really excited about with all the kits, especially the. I really like the way it as well.